Okay, we're in Blender. Just remember to switch it to Cycles Render when we start, because we're doing this in Cycles Render. I'm going to change some of the volume samplings too, because those are needed to be changed. I need to change them to 4 or so, I just probably put it at 1 if you want, but I put it at 4. Alright, let's delete this cube. Yes, yes. Alright, we're gonna spawn a cylinder and we're gonna need to um need to edit it. First need to give it a material because well it's nice to give it a material first. We're gonna give it an emissions material because the lightsaber emits light. Um Ah, jeez. Let's see. Go away. Go away. Wait. Go. So yeah, we need to make it look like a lightsaber. Look like a lightsaber. Come on, select those things. There we go. And we're gonna just kind of extract it. After selecting the things, you um, you ex you extrude it, and then you press Alt M. And then you go to at center and stuff, and then you just kind of extrude it up by pressing E. And I hold control and drag up with the mouse when I'm moving it so it clicks up so it's even like that. It needs to be pretty long, but it doesn't need to be really super long, it just needs to be long because lightsabers are long, like samurai swords, sort of. Just gonna give it a couple more. I think we're almost done at the top here. Now I'm not making it look super fancy, this is just a quick tutorial. <clears throat> I hate those. I hate those things. Alright, so yeah, now I've extruded it down, now we're going to scale it with S and I'm going to make it small. Then we're going to make it taller by extruding it again. Actually, you don't need to extrude it a second time, but you can if you want. Come on. Come on. There we go. So I'm going to take half of those, but I don't think that's centered, so... Doot. Let's make it orthographic by pressing 5 and pressing... Ah, oh, crap, I can't remember the numbers. Yeah, press 5 on the number pad. Make it orthographic. Um, that might not be correct, but I just... Making orthographic so I can make the that one side of the lightsaber that's like taller than the other. Make it look so it's like smooth, but doesn't need to be super smooth. Just needs to be smooth and like it's a curve. Then we're gonna triangulate the faces so that it doesn't have any weird shading problems. Press Control T to triangulate the faces, and then they're triangulated. Cute. Um, we're going to switch back to perspective. Oh, the um, the top looks kind of off the center there. Let's see if we can make it centered. Um, yep. Okay. Move it over a little bit. A little bit. There we go. That looks about right. Yeah, looks about right. I think it's right. Not sure though. I'm just gonna leave it like that. Let's move it up a little bit. Then we're gonna extrude the top. This is gonna be the blade that comes out. And so we're gonna zoom out. We're gonna extrude it very tall. We don't need a lot of vertices. We just need to make it tall. Although it helps to give a consistency to just kind of extrude every once in a while. Uh, yep. Keep doing that. Remember to press E to extrude. And then I just kind of... I press E, then I right click to stop it moving, and then I drag up again. And then... Yeah. So lightsabers have a point. If you watch Star Wars The Clone Wars series, you'll... And they have a lot of shots of the lightsaber in your face. And so you'll see that it has like a point like that. It's not exactly like that, but it's pretty close to that. And so we're going to use that. 
and we're going to select the whole blade. It has to be the whole blade, it can't be like just the top, it needs to be the whole blade. Then we're going to assign material to it when we get it all selected. Let's see, yep, there's the bottom, let's get the bottom one too. Alright, there's the bottom. That looks about right. I think it's out of material, so let's assign it. Oh wait, come on. Name the material if you want. You don't have to if you don't want to, but I name them sometimes. Um, the blade has to be um, a separate material because, well, it's a lightsaber blade. It needs to be special. Now we're going to be using a volumetric way of making it. I should have said that in the beginning. But, oh shit, uh, it looks like I opened up three windows there. Go away! Go away! Go away! Ah, oh, fine, I'll leave it right there. We're going to open up the node editor right here, and I'm just going to tell the other one to be the UV image editor. Um, okay. So you don't need to have the diffuse material. Um, that's like pointless. I want to delete that. Then we're going to add an emissions after assigning it because it, I don't know what it looks like. Ah, oh, it's all black. Oh, it's okay though. It'll probably fix itself later. So let's add a uh, mix shader. We're going to need two of those. Two of those. What? Oh, go away. Okay. We need two of those, and then we're going to need an emission shader and volume scatter and volume absorption. So choose both volume absorption, vo volume absorption, volume scatter, and then get um, get an emission shader. Um, you're going to want all of these to be the same color. If they're not, it'll look weird. So I'm going to make it blue like Anakin's lightsaber. Um, well, mostly blue. It's still not rendering. Oh, that's right. We need to kind of connect those things. So the volume thing. Just kind of look at my node graph here. Just kind of connect them like this. Um, and then connect all that to the volume. Don't put anything in the surface, otherwise it'll mess everything up. So since I didn't assign the, uh, the blade thing to the material, we got to assign it to the material. Assign it. If it's not working, add another material. Maybe that'll help it figure out what it's doing it's doing wrong. Um, Alright, assign a glossy material to the lightsaber hilt, or you could do diffuse, it doesn't matter. This this top thing looks a little weird. I'm gonna see if I can if I can fix that. Let's just pull it out a little bit. Yeah, that's about right. Okay. There's our lightsaber. So it's gonna basically look like this. We're gonna get a mix shader for the glossy material because we don't want it to be super glossy. We want it to be sort of glossy. We want it to have another after color kind of thing going on here, but we don't want it to be Super different, we just want it to be not super gray. A nice kind of whitish color. So yeah, there's a lightsaber. It looks like this. I mean it looks like a looks like a flashlight. But that's lightsaber. Yeah. Now of course it's not done. This is this is like the main thing. We don't really need a lot of other things to do to it to make it work but you do need to add a new mesh it can't be with the same mesh otherwise it will break it won't work but first we're going to add the Jedi that's going to be using the lightsaber it's going to be a monkey Sith monkey except the Sith monkey is using blue lightsaber because Sith monkey yeah Sith monkey let's make him look at the thing uh, he looks better when he's flat. So let's make him kind of gray. Um, let's 
see? The lightsaber emits light. This is volumetric lighting. It looks kind of nice. But that's in no way what we want. So we're going to change the world setting. Ah, oh, I hate those. Change the world setting to um, look like a sky. Um, you just kind of change the color and turn it into a sky texture. And you can change the, the things. Lower down the brightness so it's not so bad. But you want you want to have multiple importance on. I don't know about homogeneous, but I do know that multiple importance is nice to have so that you can have um, more accurate soft lighting on the materials. Um, all right. I just realized the monkey doesn't look complete, so we're going to turn him to where he's not rotated at all. And we're going to take uh, him, we're going to edit him and give him like a little body. It's not going to take too long. I'm not going to tell you how to do this, I'm just going to quickly go about it and do it. If my frame rate's dropping, it's because I'm using fraps to record and it's being stupid. He just needs a simple body though. Nothing too complex. But he can have the shoulders. He's gonna have a long neck, I guess. Give him a nice, nice, kind of smooth kind of thing here. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let's give him. I'm a little lazy here, so we're not going to do a lot of fancy stuff. He's just going to have... He's just going to have a normal body. That's not really a body. It's just going to be like a beanbag monkey. Beanbag monkey. Beanbag monkey. There. Beanbag monkey. Those polygons don't look right. Let's make him... Let's make him have more polygons. But there's Beanbag Monkey. I'm gonna use a block select. Doot. So yeah, Control T to make the triangle on the surface, and then I'm gonna subdivide him so he's rounder. And there's our monkey. He doesn't need to be special. He just needs to be a monkey. Yeah, okay. I want to say he's floating on a cloud, but he needs to have a body that's not white. So we're going to give him a velvet body. He's going to look soft. Soft and fluffy. What's he look like? Uh, why isn't it working? Oh, that's right. Now he's got a soft body. Well, soft looking anyways. There we go. Now his face looks a little flat. Let's just, uh, let's just give him eyes and a mouth. Yeah, sorry about the frame rate drop. For some reason, Blender just runs at a really weird frame rate. So it'll drop, it'll increase, it'll act weird. It'll look weird. But, yes, yeah, so let's give him a mouth and give him eyes. There we go. He's got eyes and he's got a mouth. Well, he's already had a mouth, but he's got a more realistic mouth now. The happy Sith monkey staring at his lightsaber with awe. Okay, that's our monkey. Yep, monkey. Okay, so let's copy and paste our lightsaber. So, what you need to do now. 
is delete the handle of the second lightsaber. And um, but don't delete the lightsaber. Just like go into edit mode and change the handle and delete it. Oops, I pressed the wrong button by accident. Don't worry about that. That would just be. Now, um, this is not going to be too hard. You just select the handle. If you made the handle exactly like I made the handle, it's going to be very easy to modify. You can actually spend a lot more work on it if you want. But, yeah. So now we just got the lightsaber blade, but you need to delete all the materials from the original blade and add your own custom material for the secondary one. And it just needs to be an emission material, and it needs to be the same color as the original blade, except it needs to be not solid blue, it needs to be like a soft blue. But I found that at a strength of 9 or so, it's perfect for the lightsaber. Because it's pretty accurate. And then you just kind of scale it to where it fits inside the blade because we want to simulate that volumetric lighting that we get. So we're going to make it fit inside the blade. And then we're going to put it in the center. And then we're going to stretch it to where it's tall. So it's the same height and length as the blade but not the same circumference. Alright. Let's see, that looks about right. I think the top's a little high. There we go. And so, yeah, that's basically where you want the blade, but you'll notice it looks kind of weird. So we're going to go back to the other one. Edit that circle thingy right there. And just uh, pull it down. Uh, down a little more. Right about there is fine. And then we take the top, and then we subdivide it. So I've divided a couple times, but not that way. You want to go down to the number of cuts and do it like that. So I'm going to redo it. Do two or three cuts. Anything more than three is like too much. Um, and then, yeah. Okay, then you take the inside one, do the same thing. Make it look like the other one. Oh, oh, wait. Forgot. We don't want to do it like that. We want to do it that. There we go. And you move that one to the top there because, you know, there's not like a lot of light coming from the top because it's small. So we need to make it look accurate enough to where it's like that. Okay. See? Now we got a lightsaber. Looks just like a real lightsaber now. That's basically the tutorial. You can do whatever else you want. But that's the lightsaber. You know, I'm going to just edit the hilt to make it look more like a lightsaber handle. And, um, that's all we need to do. So I'm just going to make a simple handle thing, you know, like it has those little circles on the bottom with the blades for some reason. So I'm going to give those there. So we want to extrude that and then make it smaller and then do that multiple times. But however many vertices you put in the blade will affect how many of these you can make. You can always add more if you want. Um, that's not the purpose of this tutorial is to teach you how to add more vertices. The purpose of this tutorial is to teach you how to um, make a uh, pretty decent looking lightsaber blade and this is something that uh, actually doesn't take a long time the tutorial just takes a long time to explain but to be honest it's not that hard um, to actually do I'm going to try to extrude that no I guess it doesn't look like that so yeah 
So what you can do also, if you're not aware, is you can actually add new mesh to the uh, thing, and I'll show you that in a little bit. So yeah, we got it right there. Move it down. Move it down. There we go. Right there is perfect. Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can do these all at the same time. Maybe it might work, might not. That one, I'm not sure. I'll find out. Come on, grab all the dots. There we go. So we're gonna extrude it. Then we're gonna make it smaller. Uh, it looks ugly. So let's try it again. This time we're gonna do them one at a time. That won't take too long, though. No. Shouldn't take too long, though. No. At the end, I'll show you um, what the lightsaber looks like with a lot of samples rendered into it. But, yeah, it's not too hard. It's pretty simple to do. Um, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. We don't really need to do a lot else. But, um, yeah, I'll show you the uh, trick to add in mesh to the uh, thing real quick. Once I'm done with this little part. Alright. So we're going to need to add a uh, thing, but that's basically how you make all those. But we need to assign a black material to those. But that's the end of the tutorial. Um, be sure to uh, do whatever YouTube wants you to do, like the subscribe thing and the liking of the videos, if you like it. If you don't like it, whatever. This is my first actual tutorial video. I hope you don't dislike it, but, eh. Alright, well, let's add a uh, cylinder to this, to add that little button that you can press to turn on the lightsaber. Because it you need a button to turn it on. Let's see. This is what it looks like right now. Um, <clears throat> there isn't a lot else we can do to the blade on, without putting a lot of extra time into it. But that's okay. We can put time into it later. But I'm going to add the button. So as you can see, I was in edit mode. And if you're in edit mode, you press shift A. You will add a new mesh to the current mesh that you're editing. And you can do that as many times as you want. And it'll just make the default mesh that you're playing with that much more complicated. So, yeah. This is going to be that button, that, that red button that you see on the uh, lightsaber blade. So I'm going to subdivide it and make it look like it's actually got a point to it. Let's see. Let's see if we can grab those. There's no material yet, so it's going to just kind of look like a black thing. Make it red. There we go. Let's change the view up. There we go. It's all red. Might make it glossy later, but it needs to have a little more of a point, like a button that's more rounded or something. I don't know. So let's see. There we go. So there's our lightsaber. No, oh, it needs to be smooth shaded. Let's see if we can actually do that to do that. There. That looks more like a lightsaber. Smooth shading forever. Yeah. Alright, that's pretty much it for the tutorial. That's all I gotta do now. Let's save it. And that's it.